this is the CMT trade fair in Stuttgart and this is the hall relating to motorhome camping RV equipment and I'm going to take you, attempt to take you through a walk through it. We'll see how far we can get. We'll start off though with this very nice campsite in Austria. <laughs> and hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and, How is life? Oh, very good, thank you. I, I hope I'll be able to come to you. Yes. But I'll tell you all about that when I come back. Okay. <laughs> so, do you want to say something about your campsite? It's on. I, I can tell you everything about my campsite. Yeah. If you like to come, you should go over Munich, Salzburg, Villach, direction Italy, and then you hit Hermago. That's the place where we are. At Hermago, we have two lovely campsites. One is here directly at the lake, only open in summertime, but with a nice outdoor swimming pool. 200 meters to our own private beach at the Hermagor Resegasi. Four kilometers far away is uh, Schluga Camping Hermagor, all year campsites with an uh, indoor swimming pool, outdoor swimming pool, swimming lake, and also uh, a wellness area with four saunas. Any place you want to go, it's all in, and also a Wi-Fi is uh, included. Okay, and it's still family, it's your family that it's owns family, it. It's family owned, and we're still there working, and hope to welcome you, personally. Okay, so Norbert, I'll come back later and talk to you then. Thank you, Okay, bye. 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 see you, bye. So anyway, that gets it off to a good start, although we were talking about a campsite, lovely area uh, in Austria. Well, most of Austria is lovely, in fact except for Wiener Neustadt. And apart from that, it's all lovely. Right, Dometic, they make things, as it says there, mobile living made easy. There's lots of people in this hall. It's a Saturday, this is the busiest day of the fair. Right, fridges. Uh, most people have got a fridge from Dometic or from Fetford. They have uh, battery power management. They have blackout blinds. They have windows. They have... Uh, lots of things. Oh, oh aircon, uh, temperature control, uh, awnings. Right, okay. Oh, there's a noise on. Voringer, lightweight materials. Okay, Fiamma, um, uh, quite well known for their um, stuff for, such as bike racks and uh, uh, it's a bit of a, um, not quite as upmarket as, uh, for example, some of the other companies in this uh, area. Uh, we've got a lot of um, here things for keeping clean. Oh, and this thing here, which you see quite a lot of it varies trade for, it stops the uh, mobile phones coming off. It's a magnetic sort of thing, I think. But you see, hopefully a van isn't moving around that up that much. Safe, safe for, for, for motorhomes. Very, uh, I think, very important, particularly I mean, if there's a fire or something, or if something broke into your van, which is, uh, uh, unfortunately, does happen quite a lot. Yeah, you have a safe, it's a pretty good idea. Now, this company here, uh, WM Aquatech, uh, clean water using uh, uh, various types of technology, filtration, but it's not filtration by using a filter, uh, it's more cleaning and disinfection. Uh, anyway, I've, I've, I've used that material myself and it's very good. Right, we're out well, we do uh, tents and uh, chairs and uh, this type of thing. Don't know why a ladder company's here. I suppose you fix, you fix a uh, you fix your van. You need uh, a ladder. Oh, sense. Oh, it, it is it is it is nice to have a nice smelling van. I had a very nice smell in my van when I left. I used this like fabric conditioner uh, on my bedding, and unfortunately, it's sort of uh, it's gone back to its usual smell now. But it was nice for a few days. Okay. Autarka DA, which is, uh, they, d they do self-sufficiency, so things for self-sufficiency, and they have a very wide uh, range of kit. There's Andreas, who runs the company, at his back, and uh, uh, it's definitely worth seeing some of the things that they have for, um, 
for your van if you want to live off the grid above all. Just a family owned company, but uh, he's done very well. Uh, right, here, uh, I'm not certain this was such a good idea. We'll see. How, <laughs> look at my people down there. I might, I, I mightn't be able to, I might have to just give a general impression. There you are. Um, alarms for uh, gas. Sorry, I'm, I, uh, there's so many people, I'm just not going to get be able to do this very far. All I want to do with all is to give you a rough idea. Now, in front of me, uh, a Francana Freco, that's a catalogue, you know, uh, Rimo um, or Movera. This is another one along the same lines. And uh, uh, again, uh, lots of interesting equipment for use outdoors. Uh, uh, music stuff and, and entertainment, a, a cinema in your uh, motorhome. There's one or two companies that's doing it. Rapido's got a van, for example, which is, is like a small a cinema inside. Uh, Ramis do blackout blinds, uh, the sort of, uh, they're, they're the suppliers, I think, for Heimer, for example, and other similar com companies. Frames for windows, similar to things of that nature. Mirrors, oh, shall we get? And uh, oh, lipid components. Uh, uh, quite now, they have a number of things. Uh, sort of slide outs. They have bed systems. Things for televisions. I see they've gone into the ladder business as well. Oh, and the bed business as well. On the subject of beds, yeah, mattresses uh, uh, for uh, motorhomes. Oh, here we are. Um, almost sick of height. Uh, so security systems, I'll show more detail. But I've got one of the, I've got films that I've put up of their equipment on my site showing how it's being put in, installed. Uh, I ought to actually uh, do a, another separate film on that. Cleaning materials. Yeah, poor Vario, I've also got a film of this. It's a way of stopping uh, things getting broken in vans. It's, um, a system so I mean let's face it, we all want to drink out of glass when we can and that stops uh, the glasses moving around inside your van uh, I went to the factory near um, uh, Helmstedt not Helmstedt sorry what's the place called Heilbronn uh, a couple of years ago saw how it was manufactured uh, okay bedding Tents, chairs. Oh, a, a seat store for vans. Are there? Now, one thing I've thought about doing actually is just I just use this. I mean, yeah, these things have got suspension all the rest of it. What you might be able to do though, if you can find a place that breaks up large uh, vehicles, and you could buy things uh, from there. So I think you want chairs. I mean, buying a new chair for a motorhome, something like that, you're looking probably around 2,000 euros. Uh, oh, uh, they have air conditioning systems. First time I've actually seen them here. I, I wanted to speak to them. I didn't know they were here. Good. So I'm going to come back and uh, I'll do that later. But, uh, what they do have, which is particularly interesting, I'm going to show this piece of this can system that the company bought. Uh, you can see this in a number of vans. But the uh, I haven't got them here. Uh, but some of their sinks are really, really good. They, they they're square shaped, which is suits a motorhome far better. But you can see them in lots of uh, motorhomes. I'll come back. I'll come back. I'll come back. I'll do that later. Okay. Smokeless charcoal grill. So I, I, I really have done this in a bad way. I tried doing this this morning actually, before when the hall was empty. The thing was, most of the stands were, were covered because unlike these stands where there's motorhomes, uh, this sort of stuff can sort of vanish. And uh, so it was understandable why they done that. Right, on the right here we've got a system a company called Echomat, rather expensive but very small and efficient heaters. They're tiny things. Okay, this one also comes out cold. Uh, uh, your personal microclimate, but look, they're, they're small and very, very, uh, they're very warm. Uh, of course, you can buy uh, something from a hardware shop for a, a heater uh, as well. 
it's not quite as good, but uh, you know, it costs a fraction of the price. Okay, LPG tank, something I'm constantly going on about. You, uh, so this is um, ta fixed tank, metal tanks, uh, which will go under the vehicle. Right, well, I'm going to have difficulty getting up this way. I'm going to sort of turn around and go, come down here. So on the right we have a company called Burger, which is another one of these catalogues like uh, Francana, like uh, uh, Movera, like uh, Raimo, and they always put shops in. Uh, so you can buy some of the stuff you might need for your van. Yeah, yes, Somebody's trying to wave to the uh, camera, but unfortunately she failed to do it. Well, I'll have to come back and film her later. Right. Now you can see how, how popular this event is, and, and imagine if it's like this here in the equipment, how much is going to be in the motorhome walls. Oh dear, I made a mistake there by coming this way. Anyway. Right, Rymo there, so they have a catalogue. They've been in business since 1980, that was 40 years ago. Uh, to the left we have TomTom. Tom. Uh, they have special uh, um, sat-navs for motorhomes, which are on display here. Of course, I've uh, got one in my own vehicle, so uh, you can see it there. So there we have a Tom Tom. Oops, sorry, camera went the wrong way. Oh, and so, ah. <laughs> so uh, Tom Tom, there, thank you. <laughs> and uh, more beds. Oh. <laughs> Right, now, companies like Dometic, you can't actually buy from them, so you have to come to Rymo or to Movera or uh, Francana or whoever. Right, satellite, uh, I know most people have a sat-nav in the, in the van. Okay, easy driver, that, that's for people that have caravans, uh, so that moves caravans around. Uh, oyster system, once more for uh, sat-nav and Alden, another sat nav company there's Butner electronic behind them solar technology i bought some stuff from them and it wasn't very impressed by it so uh I'm trying to point out the, the good and the bad uh right cinderella uh the toilets where you burn your waste uh fetford uh, a, a wide range of uh mobile products uh which um i mean we all use i think their uh uh, a toilet uh, fluid, but they also do. Uh, well, I'll do lots of other things. You know, they, they, they do toilets and fridges and uh, uh, all sorts. Uh, Truma, gas heating and diesel heating and electric heating and other things beside. They've got the fridge business now as well. Okay, TV is quite popular. Uh, so, Catherine. Uh, okay, out chair, very uh, interesting system here. So when you sit down and it's uh, cold uh, outside, the out chair makes you warm. So uh, I've got one of these, and uh, so this it's it's a very interesting process. You see there, you see it's so green down there, and it's on and it's warm. I am a mobile seat heater. Please try me. There you go. So if you're going to buy a uh, um, uh, now a chair anyway, you may as well get one that warms you up. I've got to point out the words, I am relatively well aware of what's going on in this world. I don't know what every company does. SFC Energy, the EFOI, uh, is a form of, uh, it uses I don't know what it uses now, it uses something like paraffin and it charges the. Uh... Ah, hello, 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 Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Sorry, friend, there. I should have said that before I started. Uh, that's Christian. Uh, and um, he. Uh, uh, he. from where he lives now. 
but it's not here. Uh, so I should have said that I might bump into people and that will sort of put me off my stride as I'm walking through. Okay, so, uh, uh, these things are on a number of um, companies' uh, websites, uh, uh, stands I should say. You know 70 euros for one of these seats. Cheers. Okay, lithium batteries. The market leader is, uh, I think, as far as motorhomes are concerned, is this company Super B from the Netherlands. Look, okay, 2,700, 160 ampere hour. It's a lot of money, but it's far more efficient than using the usual things. It's changed my life as a lithium battery. Titronic have uh, set, uh, sensors for uh, gas for uh, and other, other things. I mean, high-end company, tech company. More music. Harbour. Oh, Shillian. And, uh, okay, uh, another thing here, a textile company which specializes in things for uh, motorhomes, and uh, they look very, very, uh, slide over, and you've got a, a very nice seat cover there. Now, I've, uh, this friend of mine, I've mentioned this before, I've tried to persuade her to go into this business and to do things, you know, she can start doing things for, I don't know, for death reps or for or whoever, uh, and um, I think that'd be a pretty good uh, idea, business for her. Okay, let's uh, see what that is. Uh, Aircon, and uh, thank you. <laughs> I don't know them though. Uh, right, and so I'm almost, uh, I came down here a little bit earlier. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'll walk to the end. I've only just given a sort of a vague overview here of the um, of the equipment. You know, I appreciate if you stuck with me this far, you've done quite well. Oh, Solbio. Uh, they make, I've got some of their stuff in my van as well. It's, it's multi-purpose toilet fluid, green toilet fluid. Uh, so without harsh chemicals, and as it says there, it's vegan, so if you want to eat the stuff, not that I recommend you actually eat it. Okay, I'm going to show you this as well, because I've just bought one of these things. This is an emergency sort of power bank. So, uh, battery, uh, I've got mine out, uh, I did a film of it, and I showed it in action. Uh, sorry, I haven't shown it in action, I used it in action for the first time last night, because uh, I needed the USB thing, so you've got here. A, uh, it takes 300 watts and it's, it's a charging thing so but what, where that would really come in handy is if you've got a van it's maybe a camper van which you don't use very often but you don't want to spend too much money uh, you get something on, on batteries and solar but you get something like that it's great for me if I take something somebody else's van out and it's where I think it really shines so it's not really in the RV market it's going to be in the uh, emergency services uh, mark because that you know carrying a, a lightweight it weighs six and a half kilos it's uh, 40 is it, no it's 50 uh, it's 50 ampere hours uh, and also you can even as you've got demonstrated here it will uh, charge as well I think personally it's a good bit of kit but I mean okay it does say from 8, 579 euros and I do appreciate that that is a a uh, fair bit of cash. Anyway, we'll do another video on that. I'll have to because I, have to show, I want to show you my own one in action rather than just doing an unboxing video. Right, more water purification. You know what? I'm going to actually finish here. I'm going to finish with this company here, Keeper, because I often talk about this. I, def I went to their factory in 2016. I was really impressed by this and see lots of more and more uh, vehicles have this system in it. The company started off as making seats and what they do, these things, you fix them to the walls and this, this elastic really is very, very strong. I'm gonna pull it out because I think it's gonna fall out. But extremely strong elastic. And in fact, I think this, the wall will break uh, before the elastic does. And uh, what they have, is, for example, things you can use with bunks, such as up there, is things you can um, uh, you put on the walls. You put the like, bottles in there. I had three champagne bottles. I mean, I don't have, I don't have champagne in my van as a general rule just that one of my one and two I was given so uh, but but I had them there I took them away before you know going through Switzerland I didn't want the customs to see them but, uh, you, you, some of these uh, parts of vans which are, are wasted in many respects you, you use something like this and somehow this then changes some wasted space in a camp of a motorhome into useful storage space
Right, so this is it. I'm going to finish here because I've sort of given an idea. I haven't walked up there yet, but never mind. I uh, can't do everything. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that of interest and there'll be much more. If you want to know anything about anything you've seen here in more detail, then I'll have to do that. Oh, he's my friend Marianne. He's, uh, you might want to say something. Hey, hi. <laughs> I'm from Romania. <laughs> Marianne from Romania. So, okay. Thanks for watching and uh, please do uh, subscribe.